Hello everyone, it's Darlene Kassack again. I am the education coordinator here at the museum, traditional Native American storyteller um, and educator as well of the many different things that I do here at the museum. We've been doing a series of uh, videos about traditional Native American stories. And here is one, a new one that I wanna share with you today. To help me remember a new story especially, I need to go inside of my rabbit bag and pull out a reminder. The name of this story is Mouse and the Moon. A long time ago, a great council was held. A council with representatives from each of the animal people. The bear was there, the wolf was there, the owl was there, the raccoon was there, the fox was there, the turtle was there, the birds were there, even the fish were there. It was a special council. They were going to sit and speak about each of their histories. What was it that was special about that animal? What was the special power, the special magic that that animal possessed? And one by one by one, all of the animals talked very proudly about what it was that they did, what it was that was their specialty. When this council was over with, a grand feast was going to take place. And as everybody started to break up and go off towards that feast, one animal spoke up. Um, excuse me, what about me? You invite me to this council? but you don't allow me a chance to speak. You don't allow me to tell you about the special magic and talents that mice have. Hmm, thought the bear. I suppose you're right, little one. Do you wanna go ahead and tell us all what it is that you think is special about mice? The owl whispered to the bear. I say we eat him. No, 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 said the bear. Give him a chance to speak. I am from the mouse people. And mouse people are a little bit different because we don't come from Mother Earth. Mice come from the moon. We all lived on the moon at one time and we had a very important job and that was to nibble and nibble and nibble on that silver crust that covers the moon. And we would do this every single day, thousands and thousands of mice nibbling away very gently to nibble that silver crust away. And when all the crust was away, we would rest for a day. But during that rest, the moon would crust over again and we would have to start are nibbling all over again. Well, one day, one of my ancestors was nibbling away and nibbling away and chatting with a friend. And they started to disagree on something. And this agree disagreement built and built and built and they finally had an argument. And because my ancestor was a little bit angry, he bit a little too hard onto the moon's surface. He bit so hard that it hurt our mother moon. And she shook, and she shook, and she shook. And although we mice are very talented at holding on to an object that is spinning, because of her shaking, many of us fell off and tumbled down to the earth. One of my ancestors came from the sky and landed on the earth, and he was one of the ones that survived. Now, people don't understand us. They, they are fear us. They don't know why we're constantly nibbling on things and nibbling on things. Well, that's because we are not of this earth. Hmm, thought the bear. What do you think, owl? Do you think we should let them go on? Or do you think we should eat him? Ha, said the owl. I think we'd give him a chance. 
I think we let him try to hang on to a spinning object. Let him prove that this is what mice are supposed to do. Okay, said the bear, Mr. Mouse, I want you to hang on while I spin and turn. And if you can do that, then, then you can live. Well, certainly, said that mouse. And that mouse climbed up onto that bear and ran across his shoulder and up over his head and down his side and under his arm. And as he did this, the bear swatted and tried to catch that mouse. And he started to spin and swirl and swirl and spin, trying to get that mouse. How hard could it be, he thought. And in his spinning and spinning and spinning, he soon grew very exhausted. And he started to laugh. Ha, 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 he said. Mouse, you do have the ability to hang on to a large spinning object. I have seen it for myself. You, I think, shall live. And to this day, Bear still honors that, that um, decision. To this day, bears still will not eat a mouse, no matter how hungry they are, for they respect that power, that magic that mice have about being able to hang on to a spinning object. And when you see mice today, and they're nibbling on different things, sometimes they might nibble on something that you think is really important. Just remember this, mice are only doing what they're supposed to do because they're not off this planet. They're from the moon. And while they're here, they just need to fulfill that need to nibble and nibble and nibble and nibble. This story teaches us to respect others, to respect that everybody does things differently. Everybody has a different reason why they do things differently. It's not fair of us to expect everybody to do the same things in the same way. And it's not fair for us to think that somebody's voice shouldn't be heard about what it is that they're really good at doing. So in this story, remember that. Remember that next time somebody is telling you about a talent that they have, respect what they're saying. Honor what they're saying. Because you too have a talent that you might someday want to share with other people. Wouldn't you want them to listen? Thank you. Bye-bye.